Welcome to day two at Oshkosh 2023. We're here at the booth with Volt Aero talking about the new Casio 330 with CEO and CTO Jean Boti. Jean, thank you so much. We had the opportunity to interview you uh, last year and now you have some exciting news. So tell me a little bit about the uh, Casio 330 and uh, some of the things you're really excited about. Well, the Casio 330 is a parallel hybrid aircraft. It means that it can take off pure electric, land pure electric, taxi pure electric. So it's very prone to low noise when you do operations on ground. And then when you're in altitude, based on the distance you want to cover, you can say pure electric or you have to extend the range with a thermal engine. That's what it's done. The characteristics of this plane is that you can go 800 miles. You can do multiple things. It's configurable, so you can do carrying people, private people, you can carry goods, you know, cargo, you can do medical evacuation, and also it's got such a nice door that you can get in there disabled people too. A certified chair can go in there. So you see, it's a very modular airplane. So in talking about what you're bringing to the table, you've brought a couple of partners with you, it sounds like. What are some of the amazing things that they're bringing to the table to help you achieve your goal? So Kawasaki is now a partner and investor into Voltero, so it's very important for us because we have a skin in the game. They're bringing to us very high performance engines, I mean gasoline first, and then we're gonna move slowly into biofuel and then into hydrogen, and that's very important. The other partner that is very important to us is Avidine. Avidine came with its quantum suite it's a 4K definition, absolutely fantastic. And Avidine is so innovative that they have adapted their suite to our needs. So, because, you know, there are not too many uh, electric uh, hybrid aircrafts these days. So, that was, uh, those are very good partnerships that we're displaying here. In addition to DTC, who is making this hydrogen reservoir liquid that we will be implementing at the end of 2024 in a Casio 330 electric hydrogen powertrain. What's your ultimate goal for the aircraft as far as performance? Are you just going to stay in the hybrid area or do you see a point where you may actually go all electric? You, you may say never, ever, you know what I'm saying? I mean, depends on the evolution of the technology. I always like to say you have to do revolution by evolution. Today, the the power mass of batteries is not good enough to carry you to, you know, uh, a pure electric aircraft. There is no way. You, and, and you know, batteries are dead weight. So if I use it for takeoff and landings, I can do taxing. It's very silent, you know, that's fine. But if I want to extend the range, I'm going to have to put tons of batteries in there. And this is dead weight. I don't want to do that. So you see, I have to go with the flow. To give an idea today, batteries all integrated are 200 watt hour per kilo to have a pure electric aircraft we would have to go at least at 500 watt hour per kilo it's very much it's way too high right now only in the labs you can see it at the bottom level but it, as an integrated mean it doesn't exist today well john i can't say thank you enough great information uh really outstanding work that you're doing here i can't wait to see what the future holds for casio Wouldn't it be nice to be accurate all the time? Our generation can trust their fuel gauge, can you? Here at SAIS, we are revolutionizing the world of aviation one aircraft at a time. We are committed to providing an accurate, safe, and reliable fuel level rating, as well as providing you with the highest level of service. Find out how you can fly with SAIS today.